War has spread across the Seven Kingdoms. After Renly Baratheon declared himself heir to the throne, Stannis Baratheon and Tywin Lannister both objected by sending troops into the Stormlands. Renly was not without allies, and the Reach threw their gauntlet into the mix, backing Renly with both troops and gold. Seeing an opportunity for power, Balin Greyjoy declared himself King of the Iron Islands, and in an aggressive show of force, captured Lannisport. What is up everyone? Welcome back to Mountain Blade, A Clash of Kings. My name is Saren Death, and as always, if you would like to check this mod out for yourself, follow the link in the description below. A quick recap from last time. I traveled north to the Vale to deliver a letter and a ring, and unfortunately was arrested after a minor confrontation with a knight. Things quickly turned even worse as I was forced to prove my innocence through a trial by combat. And after my victory, my accuser's brothers attempted to hunt me down, but after a grueling battle on the back roads around Nine Stars, they were vanquished and it would seem that I may not be welcome in the Vale for some time. In between episodes, the War for the Iron Throne has officially kicked off. The battle lines have been drawn and territory has started to exchange hands. In an effort to get in on the action, I've decided to sell my services to Lord Redwine of the Reach to see if the rumors of their wealth were true. I've been in his service for a little bit now, only fighting in minor skirmishes, but it has proven fruitful as I've recently been promoted to Squire, and I'm looking to prove myself worthy of the position as the Reach moves in to take a keep controlled by the Lannisters. So, without further delay, let's get into the game. Alright, so here we are loaded into the game. We are attacking Deep Den, it would look like. Uh, we are stationed outside of it right now, waiting for the siege to officially kick off and the battle to, to officially start. We are going to go ahead and... Uh, I don't need any more troops, so... Uh, you're a famous leader of men, really? Sure, we'll let them join us. Sure, that sounds fine. Uh, we are under the sur or in the services of Lord Redwine. We're going to go ahead and follow our commander into battle and join the next assault. So we've recently recently been promoted to Squire, Reach Squire, which has been pretty cool. Um, but things have uh, not gone super well for us. Uh, we've had uh, we've taken a lot of damage in a lot of these skirmishes, and it's been unfortunate. Then again, we have been promoted multiple times, which has been very nice. We're going to sit in the back here, wait for that uh, the siege equipment to get over there so we can actually attack the wall. In the uh, the middle of the night up here. Look at the sky, it's so pretty. So pretty. As the arrows come raining across the field at us. These uh these battles are always, always, always brutal because we lose a ton of troops before we can even get into or onto the wall. So hopefully we can get this thing across this massive field here very quickly. We'll see though. We'll see. I may end up having to wait for reinforcements to come before I make my way up onto the walls. So looking at it from over here, it looks like they've got uh, the main forces there at the at the breaks in the wall. They've got a tower to our right, and it looks like another another slot to our left, which will be shooting at us as you move up the ramp. And they've got archers all over the place. It'll be a very brutal battle, I'm sure. Uh-oh. We're already losing peasants. Should probably just, you know, hang back. I don't want to get focused, though, is the thing. Being in the mass, I may not get focused. Jeez, that thing is moving slow. This may take some time. Bridge is down. Our troops should be moving over there right now. I'm going to hang back just a little bit. Just to make sure we actually penetrate the uh, the initial defenses here and get on the wall. If we do, I will jump up into the mix with them. The problem is that I am still very weak. So, uh, like a single shot from a long bowman will kill me. Which I do not want. Wow, we are, we are just getting crushed right now. Absolutely crushed. We are on the wall, though. Alright, let's, let's move up and in. Let's move up and in. I have faith in our troops. We need to definitely break right as well as left. Do not want to get shot in the back, though. Oh, they are holding us back just a little bit. Archers to our right and to our left. Come on. Get up onto the wall. Push, push, push. This has got to be a very just 
brutal way of doing combat. Come on. What is holding us up here? There's gotta be like one guy. He's like, I don't know which way I want to go. I want to go left and right. That's how I see it. I can actually get knocked off the wall here, so... Because the NPCs, like, they do, do not care. Alright, we were part of that. Alright, I feel like we're actually doing some damage now. Yay! Well... I was feeling somewhat useful. Looks like there are still some troops. Oh, they got reinforced. They got reinforced. I'm not sure where the arrow is. It must be that, that small group down there. We're going to push to our left here with these guys. Oh, there are guys down there. Oh, this is not a good place to be fighting. Push in, push in. Into the room. We need to fight in the room. Alright, this is bad. This is a bad spot. I don't like that way. I'm getting shot at by a bunch of archers while trying to fight up in there. That's not going to happen. We need to go this way with these guys. He just got shot. They have archers all over the place in this Oh, we got hit. That's kind of what I was afraid of. Come on, get into the building, guys. Okay. Whew. Funnel down. Alright. Got ourselves a kill. I'm feeling somewhat useful. Feeling somewhat useful. Taking a lot of damage, though. Alright, we're gonna go... We're gonna travel down with these guys. I don't know where those guys are going. Seems to be some confusion about which way to go. Did we get shot in the butt? I think we got shot in the butt. Oh, we're getting we're getting shot at again. Hit the shield on our back. Oh, we're in the wrong spot. Alright, there's still some guys down here. We're going to fight them down here. Now we're going to go up. Whoa! They just spawned right on top of us. This is not turning out into a, a very good fight right now. Uh oh. Oh, he's doing the like weird juke thing. Okay. Whew. Need to get a fresh shield out. Oh crap! Oh, we got taken out! Oh, from behind! Oh my word! Okay, so we are still pushing in. It looks like this might be the last of the defenders. There are still some archers and stuff down the bottom. We do have men over here fighting uh, up on the, the wall still. They had a lot of people defending this place. Alright, we've finally broken through the initial the initial. Uh, well, the secondary line they've created. Uh, and it looks like this may end up being it for them. We're going to push in. They've got a few troops up here on the wall. They've finally taken our last of the our guys over there. And there are a few of them. Unfortunately for them, just archers. Oh, nope. That guy wants to turn his back to their entire force. He acts, He's acting like me. <laughs> I 
All right, so we're gonna watch this actually play out. Uh, I just want to keep an eye. There, there are no more reinforcements coming in. They are coming up. We do have forces pushing in and fighting in here. In this, these small corridors, things are not not favorable to our uh, our pikemen. But we still have some heavy infantry, squires, and things like that who are pushing in and taking these guys out. There's some fighting going down out here. The last of their archers remain. Funny, looks like one of our heavy reach knights there. And it looks like we are finally breaking out and taking care of the last of them. Alright, and that is victory. We did end up falling. Uh, unfortunately, we, we got into a position where we had nowhere to go and they ended up rolling it behind us. But, let's see here. Uh, we did lose five of our uh, hedge knights that came with us, and we are, of course, wounded. Allied casualties, they were 187 casualties in total, 126 killed, 61 wounded. Enemy casualties, 150, that's it. We ended up taking out six on our own, so I feel like we did pretty good. We proved ourselves pretty well. Um, we did end up falling, but, you know, it's because reinforcements had a hard time getting up and in there. So we have taken Deep Den. As you can see, the Reach took Stony Sept some time ago. It was one of their first initial attacks. They ended up taking Stony Sept. Um, and really quick, we can take a look at the map. Uh, it looks like um, Tumbleton ended up falling. I'm not sure to who who took it. Oh, that's been taken by the north. It looks like that's the north right there. Interesting. Wow. It's like it's it's been a little bit since I've actually taken a look on this side of the map. And it looks like the Stormlands have pushed in really far. They've taken over Maidenpool, Duskendale. Uh, the north is taking King's Landing. Stony Sept is owned by the Reach. Um, Lannisport, like I said earlier, was taken by the Iron Islands. So that's that. It looks like it, there has been a lot of exchanging of hands. And yes, very, very interesting turns of events here. The Westerlands are not doing so well. Having a war on multiple fronts is not... Uh, not not working out for them. So it looks like our Lord is going to be in this area, uh, resting, recuperating. We're going to go ahead and take time to regenerate our hit points. That with the next battle, we can go into it strong. But it looks like the the battle is quickly favoring the Stormlands. Uh, the North is starting to move down, but they haven't taken over as much as I thought they initially would. But things have definitely not looking good for Westerlands. All right, so the Reach went north uh, towards Case, and unfortunately we, we sieged it up, but they didn't really want to fight there. Instead, they've come over here to this this keep right here, Sarsfield, and we're going to move in here. We're going to attack this place. So once again, we are attacking another keep. Hopefully, we don't have to sit here and wait for a siege tower to go across. Unfortunately, we do. So we're going to have to sit back and wait for this to happen once again, and uh, hopefully, hopefully be able to get in here and get some decent fighting going on. Uh, it looks like a very similar setup to the last place, you know, tower on our right, the uh, the walls in the center, and then of course a little uh, parapet or whatever it is on the far left there, whatever that's called. Uh, it's going to take a bit, once again, to get across this area, so we may end up speeding this up just a little bit, so you guys don't have to sit through this one more time. But hopefully, we start moving this thing a little faster. Let me get over here this time and help him out. This and it'll keep me safe. All right, so after an intense and grueling slog, we are just about at the walls. We have actually taken so many casualties at this point in time that we have had to be reinforced twice. Twice. I'm not sure if we're going to win this battle. They have so many archers up there that we are barely able to get this thing up there. There we go. Finally, the, the bridge is closing down, and we can actually attack the wall. We're going we're gonna to move in with our troops here. I, I, am, I am hoping, hoping that we're going to be able to push in without too much difficulty. Maybe they have just a ton of archers here, and that's why we lost so many troops coming up this way. But, again, it has been ridiculous. More and more of our guys are dropping like flies. We're going to try and get in the mix here. Um, we want to be careful, though. Still a lot of arrows flying. What? Is there... Okay, there must be, like, some kind of... 
lip there that you can't get over or something? I don't know. We are, we are kind of on the wall right now. Kind of. I can be knocked off. Oh no, do not knock me off. Do not knock me off, you jerks. We've got reinforced again. As we are barely able to get on this wall. You guys are being hung up by, it looks like a bunch of archers. Really. Alright, we're gonna break right this time, as opposed to the other direction we went last time. I believe it's left. <laughs> oh no. I'm really just getting just chewed through right now. Wait for these reinforcements to come in. We're gonna try and get in, into this mess right here. Good, our guys are getting on the walls now. Oh, we got hit. Oh, we don't have a shield anymore. We got shot again. Green shot in the back. Oh, we need to get into the building. I'm really trying not to get knocked off the wall, too, because that would be very unfortunate. Alright. Come on. Oh, this is a cluster. As I desperately try and get into the building here. Alright, there is a guy out there. I've taken so much damage already. We got we've gotten shot what is this, three times now. A bunch of arrows sticking out of us. Let this guy come in at us. As we push up. I'm hoping that we get reinforced here soon. Can I actually equip a bow? Doesn't look like it. Come on. All right. Oh no, that is a lot more guys coming. I see you guys over there. We need to get reinforced again. That needs to happen. How goes the fight up here? Not so good, not so good. As I said, we've taken a lot of casualties. There's still a lot of guys up on that wall over there. They are firing at us. Okay, here come our reinforcements. Hopefully they're able to break through that, that line there again. Our guys up here are stuck. I don't know what they're doing. Okay, they're coming back down around. I really want, really want my troops to, not my troops, the troops. Oh, there are so many archers out there. We still have a lot of guys getting hung up here. This is unfortunate. Some guys are like trying to go up. Some guys are trying to go back down. There we go. We had we had one one idiot in the group who was holding everyone else up. Fantastic. Okay, let's go down with our troops now, and hopefully not get shot by the multitude of archers over there. Oh man, this is a this is a bloodbath, an absolute bloodbath. Because I can't even do anything without being in the forefront. So I'm stuck now too. We've got reinforced. I am quite literally stuck. Well, I'm gonna die. I'm gonna go down. Well, we took one guy out. I'm just trying to swing my sword as much as I can right now. Oh, can I squeeze past? Oh, I can. I don't think they're shooting at me. Maybe I can get in here and... Nope, nope. We ended up being knocked unconscious. Oh, man, an arm's turned and took us out. That is unfortunate. You took... 
three arrows, two arrows at the start, which Jeff definitely didn't help us at all. This has been a very, very brutal battle. If we do manage to pull this victory out, it's it's not going to be pretty. Not going to be pretty. We have troops basically uh, pushing in here. They have so many archers on the ground down there, basically able to prevent us from, from pushing in any further. We do have reinforcements coming in once again. We, we're going to win this, but basically due to attrition. It's like the Imperial Guard pushing in here. Just a meat grinder. Throw more and more bodies at the situation. That'll win us the day. Just all these bodies right here. Oh, this is brutal. Sending more and more troops into the meat grinder. They got they got reinforced as well. I mean, the reality is if you were attacking this place and you were going through a situation like this, you would find another way. What I find interesting is we have archers here who are basically just pushing into attack instead of lining up on the wall, firing down at their archers, providing cover fire for our troops. I think this might end up being a loss. Oh, nope. Send more troops into the meat grinder. This appears to be the end of their reinforcements, maybe. Yes, yes it does. It appears to be the end of their reinforcements. We may end up winning this battle, like I said, just through attrition alone. Our guys are going to move in here and uh, eventually, eventually work their way through the, I don't know, 10 or so guys defending this point. The archers are still causing all kinds of problems. They've got guys on the wall over here, or on this tower over here firing down. Not a lot, but enough. There are enough of them. Uh, there are also guys in the, the bottom down here attacking up, and I'm, I have no doubt, yeah, there's guys over there. There's just a lot of archers, basically. Um, we are not going to uh, finish watching this whole thing. I have a feeling that essentially the only way we're going to win this is through just sheer attrition. We're going to split off, it looks like, and finally actually attack some of these archers and take them down. It's going to be a slog. It's going to be a process. Um, and I have no doubt that we will, that the Reach will eventually claim victory. That being said, it's unfortunate that we've been knocked unconscious for both of these battles. Alright, we're going to go ahead and back out now. We obviously had six casualties, three killed, three wounded. We've had some camp followers that came with us. Allied casualties were 467, enemy casualties 121. This was a brutal engagement. We are too wounded to fight, we're going to let this play out and see if we end up taking Sarsfield. Alright, Sarsfield is ours. We are going to be backing out. We took a ton of casualties there. I would not be surprised if we basically just go back and recuperate. But it does look like there's going to be some minor skirmishes going on. We are, again, too wounded to help help our lord. So we're going to see how this all plays out in the long run. Alright, so our lord did end up chasing somebody down, and it looks like we're going to get into another battle here. We're going to charge the enemy. There are, We have 570 troops versus their 118. Let's go ahead and join with our lord and see what we can get done. I don't think I've had enough time to recuperate now. I'm at about 50% life. So that is unfortunate. Uh, we will make the best out of the situation, though. We are on horseback, which is fantastic. It means we can move in with the main group. I cannot wait to get a lance. That way I can play some of the uh, lance and combat stuff. I do have the settings turned all the way to max, so obviously I have to do everything manually and, uh, you know, aim it and all of that fun stuff. So there's no auto aim lancing going on. We'll see what we can get, what, what this battle is going to look like. We do outnumber them um, pretty handily, so as long as I play smart, we're going to stick with the main group. As long as I play smart, we uh, we should we should be victorious. And we should be able to hopefully last with the whole thing. That's the real kicker. Get some experience, last with the whole thing. Gain a level, hopefully. 
and uh, make ourselves a little tougher. Just a little tougher. Attacking into the sun is never a good idea, as the sun is in our in, in our eyes, blinding us. Unless, of course, we had mirrored shields, then we could blind the enemy. Come on, let's do this thing. We have one guy. Is that our guy? We're gonna tell our one guy to charge. That's hilarious. I, I keep forgetting that we keep getting some followers because people think that we are like a great leader or whatever. From our, our minor victories against uh I don't know what that guy is doing. From minor from our minor victories against the bandits in the area. We are slowly inching forward. I have no doubt the order to charge will be given here soon, and it's going to be pretty brutal, as it looks like they have a bunch of cavalry as well. So we'll see. I think our cavalry is better than theirs, you know, just because we have a lot of it, too. Cavalry, charge! Come on, charge, charge. All right, they're charging. We should charge here. Come on. Ugh, would you guys charge? Holy cow. Well, this is turning into a, an engagement that I was not expecting. Oh, great, great. My horse is basically already dead and I'm behind enemy lines. That is... Ugh, unfortunate. How did I miss him? Hmm. I was hoping to get into some cool... mounted combat stuff, but it would appear... It would appear that this is not going to happen, as my horse is incredibly slow. Because I got, because I got it cut in half, basically. They do have archers over here. Let's try and get at least a little close to the archers. Maybe we can get into some combat over there. Now looks like they got some, some reinforcements coming in. Horse got killed. Oh man, this is again. We've done zero damage. All right, we did get a kill. It's incredibly tough to do anything here because of all of the horsemen. All the cavalry is causing tons of problems. We did manage to get a kill, that's something. This terrain is pretty crappy, not gonna lie. All of the hills and crap. Wow. Alright, that's another kill for us. Alright, time to charge up a hill and a bunch of archers. That poor horse. I don't even know what happened to it. New enemies have arrived. Oh, they got reinforced. Oh, these horsemen. 
Cavalry, seriously, get out of here. I'm not fighting area. Oh, never mind. I'm gonna triple fall instead. Fooled you. All right, so we're gonna try and get around these guys, get into their backside, and stab them a lot. New enemies have arrived. It's just those those three guys, maybe. Oh crap! Well, that uh, that that was unfortunate. We got knocked unconscious at the, basically the very end here because there are maybe a couple guys left. Yep, there are only a couple guys left. I mean, that sucks. I was just trying to get a couple extra kills so I can get some more experience, but it looked like that was not going to happen. All right, well, victory for us. Once again, we obviously had our camp follower go down because we probably shouldn't have one anyway. We had six killed, uh, our ally 31 total, uh, 31 casualties. Uh, enemy 118. So we actually did pretty well, and we killed six in that that mess. We do have some loot here we can pick up. I'm probably gonna pick up. Let's see here. There we go. We'll pick up this stuff. We'll exchange out the bad and get the good. All right, cool. We'll take the loot. We need to find. Uh, we need to basically take some leave and and go take care of that. And now that I think about it, I actually have. Uh, we can actually put a lance on us. Let's see here, a war lance. There we go. Yeah. All right. So we're gonna go ahead and uh, travel with our lord and return to duty. And see if we can get into some more some more scuffles, some more skirmishes. All right, so our lord went south. He got uh, some slight reinforcements. We went back up north, and it looks like we've gone. We're gonna make our way into another battle. So we have 389 troops versus their 103. Once again, we are still a squire, so we're gonna be trying to stick with the main, the main force here. We do have a lance equipped because I decided to equip one of the ones I got last time, and uh, we're gonna hopefully be able to lance someone and have a lot of fun with that. So we're gonna play around with this a little bit and see how we do. Um, we're gonna be, like I said, sticking with the main group here. It looks like we are rushing forward. No, we're gonna we're gonna turn around. The terrain seems to be much better than the last time because there seems to be significantly less bigger hills, which uh, should help us charge a bit better. But I just want to get a better lay of the land. We're gonna go back over here and join up with our with the cavalry units here. He's a squire with a spear. Well, I'm cooler than you because I'm a squire with a lance. What's up, man? What is going on? Where are we getting shot at? I actually don't even see the enemy. Oh, they must be over this hill here. So we don't have any troops. Uh, to command this time, so we can just send our one, our one poor soul uh, at the enemy. Hopefully, we charge down a hill, because going uh, down a hill and up another one would be unfortunate. So many horsemen, so many squires, knights, heavy reach knights. Not all of these are obviously our lords. Uh, we we are the red wines so we have you know the little grapes on there oh there they are why are we holding back okay i was gonna say why are we holding back let's just do this ah darn it there's just too many of us there's too many of us i can't get a charge off maybe we can charge past There we go. Got ourselves one. We need to pick up speed so we can... Whoa! Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh. 
My land's broke. Try and get over here and take one of these knights out. Oh, we did some damage. He's trying to chase us. Where is he at? Oh, he's in that mess. We're not going to charge him that mess. Alright, they got reinforced once again. We're going to try and come in from the backside here. Run a few of them over. What are we getting attacked from? We're like hitting an invisible wall. We take a ridiculous amount of damage from everything, it seems. Where are we? Alright, victory is ours. I think we may have only gotten like one kill out of all of that. Maybe one? Alright, let's find out. Yes, yeah, so we got one kill out of that entire mess. We lost 12, and then we lost 103. Uh, we have 370 versus their remaining 7. Maybe we can get a cool charge off. We're just going to go straight at the enemy. You know, balls to the wall. Just go crazy with it. There we go. We got speed. We got the lance down. Oh, you can only hold it for so long. Oh. I'm losing speed, unfortunately. I really, really want to lance someone. Lancing someone is incredibly satisfying and fun. Not sure we're going to be able to get the lancing off, though. We'll see. Oh, no, we missed. Doesn't help there are like 500 horsemen here. Oh, we did some damage, though. We did some damage. We managed to get him, but then our, our lands broke. We unfortunately missed our one shot. Our one shot actually getting a cool lance off. It's okay. I'm out of practice. We'll, we'll, we'll call it that. Uh, we definitely won that battle. Uh, nice. Well, we can get some loot. We're going to go ahead and pick through this. And uh, pick, obviously, the most expensive stuff. Because... How much are you? 560. Alright, that looks like that's the most expensive thing. Alright, so that is going to be it for today, though. We actually came up here. We've gotten in a few battles. Unfortunately, I was knocked unconscious quite a few times. But that is the, the nature of things when you are in somebody else's army. You're going to get knocked unconscious until you start getting higher level and more loot. Hopefully next time I will uh, I'll be able to stick in those fights a bit longer and be able to dish out some more damage. But for now, that's going to be it. Thank you all so much for watching. And if you guys did like this video, please leave a comment, hit that like button, and subscribe. And until next time, I will catch you all later.